Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my channel. Today I'm making something that I kind of concocted myself. It's a little something that I like to call a juicy skillet. Juicy skillet is, I know that sounds funny, this is basically uh, me taking leftovers from one of my favorite restaurants. So I'm here in Jacksonville, Florida, and to me their best, best seafood restaurant is somewhere called the Juicy Crab. They have all the seafood that you can imagine. And my favorite, uh, Thing to get off the menu there is something called um, the weekend special it's a skillet and it contains whatever you want actually you can make the skillet any way you want um, they have sauces you can put in there they have garlic sauce they have lemon sauce they have something they call the juicy special which is like all all the sauces combined it's just an amazing amazing restaurant and I go there every time I come to Jacksonville Another wonderful thing about that restaurant is there's, they give you so much food, it's impossible to eat it all. So today I'm taking my leftovers and I'm creating a scramble with them. Um, that's something I just have like a weird habit of doing. Like anytime I have leftovers in a rest from a restaurant, I just like throw them in some eggs and like make a whole nother meal out of them. Um, so yeah, this one I think is gonna be a good one. Here are my juicy leftovers. Here's the bag. So at the restaurant, of course, like I have some crab legs. Oh, and lobster tail, I'm not gonna forget. They have food lobsters in there too. So I finished all my crab and lobster. So today I've been down to having my leftovers, shrimp, sausages, and potatoes. Like the perfect ingredients to make a skillet. So I'm just gonna, you know, they like massage it all together. They do it a lot more gracefully than I'm doing it right now. Make sure I get every last thing that's in this bag. See how the juice just drizzles. Okay, so there's one little annoying part about this scramble. Um, of course, when they bring it out to you, the shrimp isn't peeled. So, you know, in order to make the scramble, you do have to peel the shrimp on your own. So I'm gonna take a minute to do that. Um, I'm gonna slice up the potatoes and sausages and then I'll be ready to start my skillet. But of course, I just gotta taste it just to make sure that, you know, the shrimp is still good. Just as good as yesterday. Okay, so I have all the juicy leftovers all sliced and diced. These are the sausages, I just sliced those. The potatoes are already in there, I diced those. And then the shrimp are all peeled. So the only additions that I'm making, um, I chopped up one small onion, uh, green pepper, red pepper, and a little bit of jalapeno. And then other than that, cheese and eggs, that's all you're gonna need. So since I kinda have a lot, I'm gonna beat six, six eggs and then I'm gonna um, heat up the ingredients and add those six eggs into the scramble. Since there's already kind of a lot of oil in the um, ingredients in the, from the juicy crab, I'm just gonna add like a little bit of non-stick spray to the skillet, and the skillet's already non-stick too, so that shouldn't be an issue. So just a little bit of that. Okay, so I've let the pan get hot. So the first thing I'm gonna add is the onions. Maybe not gonna add the whole onion. Start with that for now. Then I'm gonna add the peppers. Now we'll put all those in there. Let those get cooked. So once those are cooked down, the next thing I'm gonna add are the potatoes. So everything is pretty much already cooked, so we're just reheating them really. Then after adding in the potatoes, I'm gonna add in the sausages. I'm gonna add are the shrimp because I do not want them to overcook. All right, so there's so many ingredients in here. I beat six, six eggs to add in. Hopefully that's enough. If not, I can always add more as I go. So now I'm gonna add in the eggs and turn down the heat a little bit too. Seasonings. I'm not going to add much at all because the uh, seasoning from the skillet is very flavorful. So you do not need much at all, but I'm going to add just a little bit of pepper, a 
pinch of salt, and a dash of Mrs. Dash. And that's really all you need because there's plenty of flavor in this already. The eggs are pretty much ready, so I'm just gonna throw in some cheese. I have some Monterey Jack. You can use whatever cheese that you want. And I'm pretty generous with the cheese too, so that. And then mix it all in. I can pretty much cut it off now. This is how the eggs will continue to cook through. Let all that cheese melt in there. And there you have it, the juicy scramble. All right now I'm gonna try it, of course. Very good, it's just like reliving the moment. Just as good as it was yesterday. Let me get a piece with the shrimp in there. Man, and the cheese, oh, it's so good. Hopefully you enjoyed the recipe. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Uh, and if you try anything with your leftovers, please let me know what you do. I would love ideas. Um, I'm always looking for something else to do besides put leftovers and eggs. So if you have any tips or ideas for me, please let me know. And if you decide to do anything with your seafood leftovers, I'm telling you, eggs is a good way to go. Thank you for watching. Bye.